My next guest says it's good business, too. Stuart Lawley, he's the chairman, chief executive of ICM Registry, which created the Triple X domain. He joins us now from Palm Beach, Florida. Stuart Lawley, good to have you with us on Bloomberg. Explain how do you create a domain? How do you create dot triple X? Sure. Uh, hi. Great to be here, Pim. Yes, uh, the, there's a governing body of the Internet, a sort of oversight group uh, called ICANN, uh, that really dole out and allocate these top-level domains. Uh, originally, there were about eight. And then uh, beginning in the early part of the uh, last decade, uh, they started creating new ones like .info and .biz. And uh, it's quite a lengthy and expensive process. Uh, and we went through that uh, to uh, apply, pass through their rules, and eventually get created the license to uh, to operate this domain. All right, so you created ICM Registry. You put your own money into this. What is going to be unique about .XXX? Only certain kinds of businesses really are going to, I guess, want that kind of domain. Sure, yeah, the registration is limited to the adult uh, entertainment community. Uh, and the whole idea is to give this clearly signposted uh, area on the internet uh, where the consumer gets a choice to either select or avoid uh, adult content. All right, now the online adult industry, we're talking about sales of about 2.8, nearly $3 billion a year. When it comes to the specific websites, are you getting a clean slate with dot triple X? Because you mentioned that McAfee is going to be scanning all of the sites that end up with a dot triple X domain name. Yes, I mean, there's a, there's a common misconception uh, because there's no empirical evidence uh, that adult sites are more risky for malware. And uh, we're the first ever top level domain. Uh, .com doesn't do it, .net doesn't do it. We're actually scanning daily every .XXX website uh, for viruses and malware. So the consumers who want adult uh, content, they can make the choice to go to .XXX sites, safe in the knowledge that these sites are scanned by McAfee on a daily basis. So explain a little bit about the process of how you're getting this triple X domain up and running. There's a what you describe as a sunrise period. What's that? Yes, indeed. Before we eventually uh, launch by flicking the switch on and uh, just selling the names on a first-come, first-served basis, uh, we've launched today uh, what we call our Sunrise process, which allows uh, trademark holders uh, and existing domain name holders from within the adult industry uh, to step forward, uh, claim their IP rights to make sure that they get allocated the names they want. Uh, and also, importantly, uh, for major brands that don't want to be associated with dot triple x uh, we have a sunrise b a b for block uh, that allows a major brand like bloomberg for argument's sake to come forward show us their trademark and effectively we take the name out of circulation so they don't have to worry about it again all right and then there's what a land rush period i believe Yes. So after people have come forward with their trademarks and other rights, uh, the next wave of applications uh, is a land rush, which allows people to bid early on uh, the premium names that, that are left in the pot. Uh, but rather than on a first come, first served, we run it for two weeks, starting in November. And uh, at the end of the period, if there's only one applicant for that name, they get awarded it. Uh, and if there's more than one application for the same name, they go off for uh, an auction between those parties parties and the, the highest bidder gets it. And then the final stage is the general availability, which comes in December. And literally at one minute past midnight on December the 6th, we flick the switch on and everybody dives in and uh, who gets it first gets it. Stuart Lawley, last question. How'd you get into this business? Yeah, I was not from the adult entertainment uh, business. I, I built up and sold one of the biggest business-to-business -business ISPs in the UK, took it public in the dot-com boom, uh, retired, uh, came to live in Florida, uh, and started looking around for uh, uh, the next great opportunity. And with dot triple X, I saw an opportunity to build a globally recognized brand, uh, a lucrative business, but at the same time, you know, do a little bit of societal good as well. Uh, label this content, and those people who want to see it can choose it. Those who want to avoid can easily avoid. I want to thank you very much. Stuart Lawley, he's the chief executive of ICM Registry about the new .XXX domain name.